Hello everybody. Hello everybody, thank you for taking the time to view this video. First of all, I want to start out by saying that I really do enjoy Uber. I really enjoy, enjoy Uber Eats. Um, it gives me the flexibility to do the things I want to do on a given day. I can take a lunch when I want to. I can use the restroom when I want to. But, um, so huge shout out to Uber for providing an opportunity uh, for me to do something different. I came to Florida with absolutely nothing. I actually came here via bicycle. I sent them a message saying I was homeless and um, I wanted to make some money with Uber Eats. So I took the money that I had and I bought a scooter and I have been doing deliveries ever since down here in Florida. But um, so thank you. The purpose and premise of this video is to focus on my business bottom-up feedback and in this instance I want to take this opportunity to take what I've learned and provide Uber Eats my personal feedback as far as my thoughts on the app and what it has to offer its drivers and how it can be improved um, so let's dive right into the rewards program which I think is a wonderful place to start uh, as far as improving the app and everything that's inside of it so as you can see I am presently working on staying inside of the platinum category I know quite yet but we're just uh, figuring everything out and and using things like QuickBooks and getting all of the processes and everything down that I need to to make myself more efficient and I'm trying out different time slots as well but let's focus on um, the rewards program because I think there's so much opportunity and I think that some of the things uber is or isn't doing are completely underutilized um, uber is a big company at this point it's a global conglomerate um, and one of the things that they could be doing that they're not doing is leveraging their abilities uh, and their power to afford drivers discounts at various retailers and places like that um, uh, for example uh, Home Depot does have a platform where they offer a bunch of discounts and they leverage their powers to do so um, if you have a vehicle a lot of these offerings on the rewards program are geared towards having an actual physical vehicle in my instance I have a motorbike and so a lot of these rewards are not actually enticing or appealing to me personally. So um, I think that's one of the areas that Uber can focus um, and maybe even giving users of the driving platform the ability to pick and choose prioritized rewards or even giving us surveys for what we want. Um, this isn't presently a thing. And I think it's somewhere that Uber can use to leverage and reward drivers um, and, and possibly help with driver retention because as is right now it's a very uh, straightforward offering as far as an opportunity goes there's not really a lot of um, reasons I can as far as I can see to keep people around to stick around um, when it comes to to or rewards program if you're just like a good group of people who are dedicated to the long-term um, full-time possibilities that uber has to offer um, so let's dive right into this like i said i use a scooter so a lot of this stuff isn't applicable to me um let's see why am i not able to scroll down okay let's see so all right, so free English, discount, dental, and vision plans. I don't use any of this. Uh, TurboTax, I don't use. I use QuickBooks. Um, I don't utilize this. I don't utilize this. Uh, see, when it says car maintenance, that's in a perfect example of, of where I, as somebody who uses a scooter to deliver food, uh, doesn't really benefit, doesn't really need this offering I need scooter based offerings so like for example there's a store called gear cycle they sell a lot of really good products um, for motorcycle users 
um, and that's that's somewhere that I think it can be uh, advantageous. Um, I have AAA, so I haven't had to use this. I don't even know how this works. It doesn't really like have a question mark right here to give me more information. So I guess you just click on it. Um, but I'm gonna go back because it's not. So bike helmet discounts, right? But what about motorcycle helmets? You know, that's a perfect example where gear cycle could come into play. And also this, like partnering with motorcycle shops for, for maintenance. Um, so here's QuickBooks right here. Uh, boom. Uh, I don't know what this is. Platinum discounts, let's see. I just... To be honest, guys, I'm kind of disappointed as far as like the these kind of offerings are concerned. So I'm going to go into here, and it makes me go through all this stuff. I don't want to go through all this stuff. Just bring me to the page. Let me see right away what my offerings are. It brings me to a whole nother secondary thing. Um, I hope I don't have to blur out all my info. Yes, I do. Son of a biscuit. So, all right. So, like this Caribbean offering, like I don't have time for vacay. I'm I'm trying to work. So it's a, um, looks like it's still loading. Let's give it a minute. Where are the oh there I can't even see the arrows there we go she like this stuff why no I don't want I mean these these programs these offerings they're media I mean this is kind of cool but I just don't think that they're doing enough twenty dollar gift card uh, like I'm never gonna use this. I'm just being honest with you guys. I don't like where's the the Cub Foods or the Costco or the Walmart discounts. You know where that's what everybody wants. I can tell you that right now. I mean, okay, so I click this. Does this give me access to those retailers? Uh, no. I mean. This doesn't tell me what retailers or anything, 7,000 plus businesses, but who, what, when, where, and why. So if I click this, how much is my discount? I just, I'm not, I'm not sold on the programs and I'm not sold on these offerings. I, I don't think half of this stuff is worth it. I really don't. I mean, this whole thing, it's just garbage. I, 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 no, so this is a perfect example of where Uber can definitely improve upon what it offers its people as far as uh, leveraging their powers. So this whole discount program should be revamped to offer basic uh, discounts at places like Costco, Whole Foods, um, Walmart, Target, you know, your uh, Publix, uh, Cub Foods, all of your major retailers should be listed on here. They should all have programs and offerings and discounts, and they should be fighting for our business. Um, so I just, these programs and these offerings are, are, are 
they're a joke, to be honest. And I'm, I'm just being 100% with you guys. I think that this program is a joke. I think that the money is okay. I think that the opportunity is, is wonderful. Um, but as far as the offerings, this, this program needs a lot of help. It needs a lot of work. Um, there should be an entire section. This whole uh, uh, rewards program should have a section inside of the app. And, and I'm talking more in depth than this. This isn't in depth enough. This doesn't, it's, it's too much info and it's not focused on what I want as a user of, of the app as a driver. Um, so this is just my general feedback as far as the rewards program is concerned. Um, right now they're offering new drivers bonuses, but they're not offering um, drivers right now bonuses. Uh, the ones that have been through thick and thin with the company. Um, So uh, that's just my general feedback on this. Um, I can't. I, I can't go live. Uh, I'm recording this on my, my computer um, through a program called BlueStacks. Um, but the reason I wanted to to go live and I want to show you guys, but I can't. So when I hit go live um, and I, I receive an order, the app for whatever reason resets the map. So like when you hit the, the up and down arrow on the right side where your phone is, it if I select that once, every order thereafter and or it should be a, a setting to where it always does the same thing. So instead of constantly facing north, it faces the direction in which I am going. And right now the app like constantly resets. And it's super annoying because if I'm driving down the road and I get a ping on my phone, it resets the whole map so now I'm not facing the right direction and I have to retap the phone as I'm on my motorcycle and it, it doesn't need to be this way and and that's that's something that should be very autonomous it should be very straightforward and I shouldn't have to constantly be tapping my phone to to reset the map in the direction that I'm facing um, oh uh, in the in the driver settings they need to add the ability to avoid highways so uh, for people that drive a scooter, they're not allowed on federal highways. Federal highways are these blue labeled highways. These are federal um, scooters that are less than a certain amount of CCs, depending on the state, aren't allowed on these federal highways. So an option to avoid highways, much like Google Maps and Waze has, Uber Eats inside the app needs to also have this feature and ability uh, which it currently does not in the driver settings. It also should have a feature to avoid tolls if possible. It presently doesn't have this either. Um, so that's the, uh, that's going to be it for my feedback today for Uber Eats for consideration. Um, hope that you guys liked this video. Please comment like and share. Uh, this is my first video of this kind. Um, I'm going to try to post more content. I need to, I want to. Um, but yeah, have a good day because it's always a good day. And just remember guys, it's just a choice. Adios.